Welcome to Next Gen Tesla for several months. The Tesla community has been buzzing with anticipation. Nothing has ignited more excitement than the recent sighting on Silicon Valley highways. A mysterious, heavily camouflaged prototype, widely believed to be the long-awaited Tesla Model 2, was spotted in public testing for the first time. And the reactions have been explosive. The significance of this event goes far beyond a simple prototype sighting. The timing and location indicate that Tesla's next-generation affordable EV is much further along than most expected. Conducting road tests at this stage demonstrates Tesla's confidence in both the vehicle's design maturity and its underlying engineering platform. What has stunned experts even more are the subtle but revealing design choices visible through the camouflage. From its proportions to its stance, everything hints at radical manufacturing and structural breakthroughs. Analysts studying the leaked images have noticed signs that suggest not just an evolution of Tesla's battery architecture, but a complete reimagining of how the battery integrates with the vehicle itself. When you look carefully at the prototype's rear quarter angle, something stands out instantly to trained observers the height of the floor relative to the wheel diameter. This one detail exposes a deeper truth. Tesla may have fundamentally redesigned its battery integration system. Unlike its previous models, which rely on a structural battery pack acting as a main chassis component, this prototype suggests Tesla has moved beyond that to an even more advanced architecture known as cell-to-chassis integration. In this configuration, individual battery cells are directly bonded to the vehicle's floor structure, rather than enclosed within a separate pack housing. This revolutionary method removes layers of materials and components, cutting weight, cost, and manufacturing complexity, while simultaneously improving rigidity and energy density. Essentially, the battery becomes part of the car's skeleton. The engineering implications are enormous. The approach allows for superior impact absorption and structural strength because the cells themselves distribute loads throughout the body instead of being contained in a box that can deform or detach. However, this innovation also introduces massive engineering hurdles. Turning hundreds of battery cells into part of the vehicle's frame means every cell must be thermally balanced, electrically insulated, and crash protected in a unified system. The fact that Tesla has a running prototype being tested publicly suggests these engineering challenges have already been solved. Observers have pointed out the smooth, uninterrupted lower side panels on the prototype evidence that there's no traditional battery pack lip or mounting flange underneath. This detail alone supports the theory of direct cell-to-chassis integration. Removing those mounting structures doesn't just save weight. It eliminates a major assembly step and simplifies factory processes. Yet, it also means Tesla's engineers have found ways to manage thermal expansion across the entire vehicle floor while maintaining perfect cell compression and long-term safety. These are feats that other automakers have not yet achieved in any production vehicle. Another aspect visible in the prototype's proportions points to even greater efficiency. The compact yet balanced stance hints that Tesla has achieved higher volumetric energy, density essentially squeezing more capacity into less space. Industry projections suggest this integration could boost energy efficiency by up to 20%. For a mass market car designed to offer around 250 miles of range at an affordable price, that improvement could be the make or break factor that determines whether Tesla can deliver both affordability and performance in one package. Fewer cells, less cost, lighter weight, and better performance, these are the kinds of engineering. Gains that can transform the economics of electric vehicles entirely. But Tesla may be doing more than just rethinking the battery design. The testing patterns indicate something deeper. Observers have noted signs of Tesla validating high voltage. Architectures possibly an 800-volt system similar to that used in the Cybertruck. Bringing that level of technology into a budget vehicle would be nothing short of revolutionary. An 800-volt platform enables ultra-fast charging speeds and improved efficiency using smaller, lighter cables and components. It also implies advanced thermal management, new cell chemistries, and innovative power electronics. The added camouflage around the charging port area suggests Tesla might be hiding upgraded cooling systems and power distribution hardware. If confirmed, it means that a sub-$30,000 car could soon match or even outperform. 
six-figure luxury EVs in charging speed. This kind of democratization of technology would shatter the long-held divide between premium and affordable electric cars. Such innovation would not only benefit individual drivers, but reshape the manufacturing ecosystem behind Tesla's supply chain. Implementing CELTA chassis architecture requires brand new production methods, supplier tools, and safety validation systems. Tesla isn't just testing the car itself. It's testing the entire manufacturing process, proving that these methods can work at scale with consistent quality. The existence of multiple functioning prototypes suggests. Tesla has reached a point of confidence that mass production could begin sooner than most expect. This advancement could redefine the cost structure of electric vehicle manufacturing entirely, potentially making Tesla the first automaker to achieve true affordability without sacrificing range or capability, but the intrigue doesn't stop with the battery. Experts are equally fascinated by the sensor layout and design elements seen on the prototype's upper body, the subtle ridges near the windshield and roofline are not random shapes. They are likely sensor mounts for S Teslas. Next generation driver assistance and autonomous systems. What's strange is that the arrangement does not match Tesla's current camera-based full self-driving layout, indicating new hardware testing. For years, Tesla has insisted on a pure vision-based system, removing radar and other sensors to rely solely on cameras. Yet Elon Musk's recent comments suggest the company is re-evaluating its stance, exploring complementary sensors for specific scenarios. The new prototype could be testing hybrid systems that combine vision with LiDAR, or other sensing technologies, not necessarily for production use, but to compare and validate data accuracy. This is a critical step in refining Tesla's AI training models. In addition, the front camera array appears more advanced and possibly configured for stereo vision, where two cameras create a depth map for improved perception. This method provides more reliable distance estimation than single camera vision, especially in challenging lighting or weather. For an affordable car, stereo cameras may offer the perfect balance of performance and cost. Beyond the sensors, the hardware under the hood must also evolve. Tesla's next-generation computing platform will need to process data from all these inputs faster and more efficiently, all while remaining cost-effective. The prototype's public testing allows Tesla to collect massive amounts of real-world data using production intent hardware, ensuring that once the Model 2 launches, it will already be validated in countless real scenarios. Each drive trains the AI, fine-tunes the algorithms, and validates safety protocols, an iterative process that ensures readiness for mass market deployment. Tesla's strategy of building hardware capable of future upgrades continues here. The Model 2 may launch with basic driver assist features but will gradually gain. New capabilities via software updates as Tesla's neural networks evolve. This over-the-air adaptability is central to Tesla's business model. But implementing it in a lower-cost vehicle requires balancing cutting-edge tech with strict budget constraints. The prototype demonstrates that Tesla is already validating not only sensors, but the entire autonomous driving pipeline from perception to decision-making to actuation using the very hardware. Consumers will receive this level of integration testing is rare in the automotive world and showcases Tesla's unique end-to-end -end engineering approach. It's not just about collecting data. It's about ensuring that affordable computing systems can handle the workload safely and efficiently. By the time the Model 2 is released, Tesla will have validated every major autonomous feature under real-world conditions. The outcome could mark a major step toward full autonomy becoming accessible to everyday buyers. Another fascinating element revealed by this prototype is Tesla's new unboxed manufacturing architecture, system poised to completely disrupt traditional car assembly. The vehicle's proportions tell the story. A shorter front overhang and an elongated wheelbase indicate a fundamental rethinking of how components come together. Instead of assembling a vehicle in a single linear line, Tesla's unboxed process allows different modules front, rear, interior, and battery to be built in parallel each optimized for performance and assembled later like precision puzzle pieces. 
This approach eliminates the bottlenecks of conventional manufacturing. The production speed is limited by the slowest step on the line. By decentralizing the process, Tesla can build multiple modules simultaneously and integrate them only when ready. The benefits are dramatic. Up to 40% reduction in factory footprint, faster build times, and the ability to engineer each section to its maximum efficiency. The design of the Model 2 prototype reflects this philosophy.